it's news time. A lot of news items this week. And the news is brought to you, as always, by Eagle Mortgage, eaglemortgagecompany.com. The office is located at 114th and Davenport Street, just south of Dodge. But Eagle Mortgage been around for a long time. Holly Schneidwin and her team do an outstanding job of taking care of their clients. It's stressful buying a house. For most people, it's the most expensive thing you buy. And you only do it a handful of times in a lifetime for most people. So you want to get it right. And Eagle Mortgage is not a bank. They're not beholden to a bank. They shop the market. They find the best lending solution for you, regardless of what type of loan you want to get. uh, EagleMortgageCompany.com. All right. Well, first up on the news, Trenton University of Nebraska Medical Center leaders broke ground this week on a new on campus student housing facility. We've talked about this before, but the groundbreaking took place. This will be a $66 million, 200,000 square foot, six story building uh, for 300 students at the corner of 39th and Dewey Avenue. Expected opening date, August, 2026. Went by yesterday on my Friday Gromaha tour, lots of tractors. Yeah, it sounds like our dorms in college 30-something years ago. Just like your dorms at Tulane University in New Orleans circa 1987. Well, other news item, uh, very exciting, uh, Drury Development Corporation, which is uh, out of St. Louis, a part of St. Louis Drury Hotels, recently purchased a half-city block at 322 South 10th Street. So this is that surface lot on the northwest corner of 10th and Hardy. Been there forever. Uh, If you love urban spaces like we do on Gromha, that thing has been a frustrating thorn in your side, but it's going to uh, it's going to become a building. It's only thirty five thousand square foot parcel, eight tenths of an uh, acre. But Trenton, um, some interesting things about this. Okay, uh, and we'll get to the purchase <clears throat> price in a moment. But first of all, it's it's going to be a Drury Hotel, uh, but there are some interesting restrictions on this thing because it had been owned by the company that had the Embassy Suites just a block or two to the south. A lot of restrictions there. And according to covenants filed um, with uh, the county, um, no hotel that goes there can have more than 252 rooms or more than 4,000 square feet of meeting space. So it won't be huge, but it'll be nice sized. It'll be tall. Uh, and yeah, you'll have to get, you know, have to kind of stretch if you want to put 252 rooms or thereabouts on eight-tenths of an acre, you're going vertical. So the same company is building a hotel in downtown Lincoln right now with about the exact number of rooms. It'll be eight stories. My guess, though, is the the parcel's a lot larger yeah. down there. I know. It'll be interesting to see. But, uh, Trenton, as you found out, the purchase price for this thing was over $179 per square foot, which is an awful lot. Yeah, and, and you can only do that when you're going vertical. If, if you did that on a single or two-story building on West Omaha, that that would be ludicrous. Uh, the top prices on like 84th and Dodge area probably around fifty dollars on a really great day for a seller. So I mean, this is five times that. Got some interesting news coming out of uh, the Western Papillion area, 156th and Shram Road, Hubble Realty Company. Um, a uh, real estate development company out of Des Moines, Iowa, which is one of our new Gromaha newsletter sponsors. Uh, they are coming into the Omaha market because of the strength of the Omaha market, hot and heavy, uh, building a $25 million, 260,000 square foot Class A industrial building right there at 156 and Shram. They're going to build a lot more of them because the, the project they're doing is 156 acres. They anticipate having a total of 10 buildings there. Interestingly enough, in this first 260,000 square foot building that's under construction, Rotella's Bakery is going to take 100,000 square feet. So this is an On addition. On top of the other, yeah. Yeah, because they have their new cold storage facility just to the north of that. Rotella's is really growing like crazy. It, it, it's unbelievable. Great Omaha success story. And Rotella's, you know, you know them from 108th and was it Harrison? Yep. Mm-hmm. And uh, they just keep growing and growing and growing. And, and, and their distribution gets farther and farther away. Yeah, it's 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 pretty impressive uh, what uh, what they are doing. All right, we've got um, some other big uh, political news that uh, affects Omaha growth and development. 
And uh, that is that Omaha voters overwhelmingly approved bonds totaling $333 million in Tuesday's election, City of Omaha bonds. And that's an important enough story that we brought in a guest uh, newscaster with us to help us analyze it. Mayor Gene Stothert, what does this project mean to you and these six bond issues? You know, this is a really great thing for the City of Omaha. It'll keep our momentum moving forward. And there are six bond issues overwhelmingly passed by the voters all 70 percent or more and they are street bonds sewer bonds public facility public safety park bonds and then street preservation bonds which are the continuation of the big street bond issue the 200 million dollar one that we passed in may of 2020 and you know we're always worried when we have these bond issues on the ballot because there's a lot of misinformation out there this time i heard a lot people were talking about it'll raise your taxes and we schedule these so carefully every time we do them so that they don't raise taxes. Then there was a thought that, well, if I vote against it, it'll lower my taxes. And that's quite the opposite, because these are things that we're obligated to do, like sewers and streets. And if we did not have the bonds to pay for them, then it would be most likely we'd have to raise the levy because we wouldn't have enough revenue. And the way, you know, the way I explain bonds to people, it's like, how many people can go out and buy a house and pay cash? Not many people Not can. Many. And so you go out and you get a loan and you get it at a good interest rate and then you pay for it over a period of time, which makes it affordable. And that's exactly what we do with the bonds. We issue the bonds and then we can pay for it over time because these some of these big items on there are things that we can't pay with just the revenue that comes in on an annual basis. So we're very happy they all passed. And if the interest rate goes down, can't you refinance those bonds? And that's why we, we can continue with these bond issues like we do without raising taxes is because we are either retiring old bond debt or we refinance all the time. And we're constantly refinancing so that, that we get that lower rate so that we can add more bonds. So it's kind of a steady stream of, of income that we have that we're able to do all these things and keep the city moving forward. So as the mayor said, uh, bond issues covered street, sewer, park improvements, new equipment for police and fire. But the uh, headliner, as far as Gromaha is concerned, $146 million bond approved for public facilities, the CHI Health Center. Some details there, 25 additional meetings rooms, 94,000 square feet on the east side of the convention center, make us more competitive, attracting even more <clears throat> meetings and uh, conventions to Omaha. And, and not only that, Mayor, but uh, the east side of the CHI Center is going to look a lot cooler and nicer, too. It is. It is. And, you know, these this <clears throat> expansion is going to go over the back, like you said, on the east side. So it's over where the loading docks are on the in the back. You're not going to be seeing a lot of change in the front. But like you said, we are missing out on a whole different level of conventions that we could get in Omaha, but we don't because we don't have enough meeting rooms. And so this will more than double the number of meeting rooms, which will open up a whole, like I said, different level of conventions we could get, which are good for the city because every convention has a strong economic impact for the city. They use our hotels, they eat in our restaurants. And so this is really good for for the city and the bond debt for CHI will be paid off soon. And so that's a good thing too. So it's time that we do some refreshing with it too. But I think with that, you got to think, what are we going to need to go along with those extra meeting rooms and bigger conventions? And we're probably going to need and undoubtedly going to need another hotel down there. Oh, and Trent and I have some ideas of some preferred brands. Well, you can go we'll after. be talking to you about it then. But what? I think that's, you know, and, and we've got to talk about the parking. And, you know, are we going to need to build a another parking garage maybe on Lot D down there if we develop Lot B or put a hotel on Lot B? So there's a lot to think about and a lot to consider. But um, the money that the 100 million that was on the bond issue will go to that, but there will be another hundred million that will come private. So this is another example of these great public-private partnerships that we have developed in Omaha. People have no idea the amount of generosity from our stakeholders, foundations, <laughs> uh, philanthropy, private and public, how they contribute and it allows the city to do so such amazing things. That 90-acre park 450 million or so wouldn't exist if it wasn't for the the citizens of Omaha contributing, the, the private citizens. You're absolutely right. The Riverfront Parks, $400 million. The city put in 60. The rest is private. The ballpark, 
you know, how the ballpark is funded. There's private money in that. The original Arena Convention Center. There, the library at 72nd and Dodge, that's a $158 million library. The city put in 20 and the rest is private, yet it's going to be an Omaha Public Library with our employees in it. The partnerships that we have are unique, and not all cities have those. What I like about this downtown area, it's becoming more and more walkable with retail, hotels, the, the convention center ever expanding, and everything, and, and the, the space around it, so you can really get to the old market. It's really connected it, and then you've got the Builders District, and it's, it's right. all coming together. And the streetcar is, is something that's going to connect all those together. And not just the development we have going on now, but we also are looking into the future. And, you know, we have a plan for 16th Street, for, to redevelop 16th Street around where the Orpheum is. So there's a lot more vision that we have for downtown to keep us moving forward. If you like this video, be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons. And remember, Grow Omaha is not just media. This is a mission. We are trying to build up Omaha and make it an even better place. We can only do that with your help. Share this video with your friends, neighbors, and family.